Hello everyone, and welcome back to some more Seinaru Kano with me, Phantom Zawai. So, hey guys, we're in a new world. Let's check it out, shall we? Satsuki brings us down to the student council room. But my head's still trying to wrap itself around our situation, and I can't think of anything to say. Nozomi seems to feel the exact same way. Once the two of us sit down, Satsuki starts getting a rickety message board set up. For a second, it's like we're back on Earth, preparing for a student council meeting. Remy's sitting on the desk in front of me. Instead of panicking, I try to calm down for a little bit. I try poking her. Yeah, that's one way to distract yourself. Harassment. Good job, Nozomu. As I've discovered firsthand, she's pretty strong for her size. This reminds me of when I played with ni rhinoceros beetles. She finally escapes my hands and points up at Nozomi and me angrily. Satsuki finishes whatever she was writing and taps the board for our attention. She sounds like a teacher chastising students for daydreaming. She's even standing up completely straight and scowling. This is a very different situation than Sally the Eternal. Like, it seems like this school is probably going to be our home base, rather than this town of Rakios, like the Asili of the Eternal. I'm assuming, I guess, but uh, that's definitely a switch. Not necessarily one I think I'm too fond of, honestly. I don't know, it just seems a little contrived that, oh, visual novel, school building is our base. Yay, even in another world. But anyway. All right, please do. I catch her despite her complaints and put her on my shoulder. Then Nozomi and I give Satsuki our full attention. There are two circle, uh, circles drawn on the board. Yeah, you're right. I nod in agreement. She writes current world in our one circle and former world in the other. <clears throat> that was quick. Um. Nozomi glances at my confusion and raises her hand for me. Hi,ikaru-ga-sensei. <laughs> Satsuki, I don't understand what you mean by a different world. Is this sci-fi? Either way, it's just one crazy thing after another. And her tone is completely serious, too. But if we really are in a completely different world, how else is she supposed to describe it? I guess we just have to accept it. The real question is... What's going to happen to us now? So, so, I did not notice that. Meaning we've wandered into a world like the European Middle Ages? You do see worlds like that in books and games a lot. The irony. There will be a king along with sol uh, soldiers wearing armor and carrying swords. I guess I'm lucky I was born in a time with so much fiction. Makes it easier to understand the situation and uh, put the situation into context, rather. But those are fantasy worlds. 
actually being thrown into one is a completely different story. This is reality, and it's hard to accept. This is reality, guys. I find it odd that they don't just be like... They haven't called it Earth once, basically. You're right. That's a good way to put it, is it really? She writes Swords World and Starting World onto the two circles. It's a little easier to understand written like that. But it's still all bizarre. I still feel like I'll lose my grip on it if something else changes. Oh yeah, Nozomi. I've been wondering for a while now. What are all these roots? Ah, Nozomi-chan. Monobe? Monobe? Yeah. I tap one of the roots lightly. Whatever she called it is a mouthful. A name that's exhausting to even think about saying. Monobe? Is it really that hard to say? I think Raimi heard that. She smiles to herself from up on my shoulder. I guess she must really like her own name then. Hmm. Raimi takes a seat on Satsuki's hand, looking conflicted. I get it. She's weak against that kind of treatment. Really? Hey, Nozomi. Don't you think a different name would be a little better? Wait a minute, what's the difference? Mononobe and Monobe? Well, huh? Wait, what's Mononobe? I thought Monobe was the name of the sprite. I'm confused. Okay, Monobe is Nozomi spirit. What's Mononobe? Oh, Mononobe Academy. Right. Right, right, right. Okay. I got it now. It's awfully simple. Not that I'm one to talk. Satsuki gives Nozomi a double thumbs up, despite Raimi still being perched on her hand. Maybe. Monobe was born at Mononobe and is carrying Mononobe. Yeah. Yeah, I guess it's not that weird. Hmm? Oh, wait a minute. Nozomi, did you just say she was carrying Mononobe? Wait, her spirit is carrying Mononobe? As I try to wrap my head around that, Satsuki draws something else on the board. I'm not sure what the shape's supposed to be, but she puts a little square on top of it and marks that as the school. I see. Monobe is carrying the entire school on her back. I could tell that we were really high up, but I assumed that we were just on a cliff or something. Apparently, that isn't the case. Doesn't that mean Monobe is huge? Hold on. Nozomi, what kind of spirit is Monobe? Like a slug or an amoeba? <laughs> I 
as I stare at the board trying to figure out what the drawing's supposed to be, I feel a wave of bloodlust. Both Nozomi and Satsuki are glaring daggers at me. I can relate, Satsuki. <clears throat> They're friends now, at least. Huh? Why? She glares at me. Crap. I shouldn't even try to figure this out. I can't handle it. Because I'm an idiot. I'm sorry, Satsuki. I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. You seriously don't see her that flustered much either. A whale? Whoa, that's definitely straight out of fantasy. <laughs> because being transported to another world isn't magic? No, there won't. No, nah, that could never happen. Seriously? She immediately dives headlong into a full-fledged daydream. Amazing. あ、残念。そういうんじゃないんだな。違うんですか。残念。私もそういうのだったら良かったんだけどね。結構殺伐としてるのばっかりよ。仕方なかろう。戦うための機能が第一なのだからな。応用すれば日常にも使えることもない。Uh, she smiles from ear to ear, but I really don't feel very convinced or relieved by that. Hold on, just who is she? Why does she know all of this? And another coding bug. Um, that reminds me. Satsuki, how come you know so much? And why are you so calm? Huh? Meaning, she's been through something like this before? Who the heck is she? It'd be nice if you did offer us a little more explanation, but sure. Yeah. Hmm. I'm curious about her, but she has a point. Besides, even if she does answer, there's no guarantee that I'll understand. Seriously? Okay, I was wondering about that. We're not the only ones caught up in this nonsense. Shinsuke Agawa. <coughs> Excuse me. My throat's giving me some trouble this morning. Agawa? All the people that were at school uh, back then pop into my mind. そうなのよね。実は結構私たちの状況は深刻なの。そして優先的にやらないといけないことが食料の確保よ。人間というのは腹が減ると、まともな思考ができなくなるからな。その通り、少しの間なら学園内に残っていたパンとかで何とかなる
you must survive based on those principles. Don't you understand? If you didn't have any, you could just go buy some. Um, we can't just go back to our old world and buy some? Yeah, that no, no fucking problem, right? I kinda hate Nozomu. I kinda hate him. There's a TV show I need to record too. I wanna punch this guy in the face. I was half joking, but her tone is completely serious. We can't go back? Really? I'm stunned. Nozomi puts her hand comfortingly on my shoulder. Both Raimi and Satsuki look apologetically at me. What am I doing? Enough already, except reality. I mean, not that I can't understand a little denial in this situation. After all, you've just had been forced to leave everything you know behind. But at the same time, you should understand the situation, the circumstances at least. At least he said he was half joking. Sorry, I was just trying to make a joke. Anyway, we've got to live here for a while, right? They're still calling it Swords World. Though I guess since it clearly does have inhabitants, there's no sense in them naming it themselves because presumably eventually they'll find out the name of the world. Yeah, but I'm still worried. <clears throat> Thank you very much. But if we're going as guards, that means there's a chance of fighting. I'll have to fight using my swords if something happens. Just like when the school was attacked. I can still feel the hilts in my hand. But that reality seems like it's from another life or it's another lifetime away. Raimi sits on my shoulder and tugs on my ear. She's entirely too strong for her size, and that reminds me that this is all my new reality. I yeah, got it. The heaviness I felt when I woke up is almost gone now. I don't have any excuses left. There's a mountain of things that, I, that need to be done. All we can do is tackle them one day at a time. I take a deep breath and get up out of my seat. As we leave the room, someone familiar passes in front of us. Sanai? Wow. She came along too, huh? She immediately stops when she hears me, trots over, and looks me up and down. She completely scrutinizes me, even prodding my arms and shoulders. Yeah, somehow. I really wasn't hurt that badly. Now that I get a good look at her, she looks a little frazzled. I can't imagine why. She probably she's probably shooken up from what happened. のぞむの世話で大変なんだろうけど、You think so? 
ナンジが思っている以上にサナイはしっかりしているぞ As I talk in my brain to her, Sanai keeps glancing at her watch. Maybe she really does have a lot to do. <laughs> you think she's just loitering around or something? Sanai, if there's something you need to do, shouldn't you take care of that first? Huh? Mm, so はい、大丈夫です。のぞむくんにも説明しましたし、私が知ってる限りのことは話します。各館の方にはもう。ええ、もっとも全員ってわけじゃないんだけどね。まずは各クラスの代表とかに集まってもらってるわ。助かります。い
今はなんとか落ち着いてるかなつっても俺とアガーもまだ落ち着けてないんだけどさ I can understand 正直パニクらなくて損してる感じ She grimaces and shrugs There is not much more to say Nobody can hide their confusion and unease about being tossed into this All I can do is pray that Sasuke does a good job of explaining things The crowd starts to murmur louder as she appears on stage. Even with everyone's eyes on her, she looks completely at ease and is standing in front of them confidently. Eh, Kaku Kuras no Dai Hyo Shano Mina san, Atsumatte Kurete Arigato Gozaimas. Tabun Minna wa Mada, Ima no Jitai ni Odorote Iru to Omaimas ga, Kore kara Watashi ga Wakatte Iru Kagi no Koto o Hanashimas. Mazu, Minna mo Mou Wakatte Iru Kamo Shire Masen ga, ここは私たちがいた世界とは違う世界です。Strangest Student Council announcement ever. It's an incredibly sullen declaration, but nobody even makes a noise. Or sudden, not sullen, but sullen too. 思ったよりみんな騒がないね。Yeah, they're surprisingly calm. それは多分、サナイ先生がいろいろと動いていた成果なんじゃないかな。What do you mean? Setoki ga neteru aida ni Sanae chan ga gakuen juu hashiri mawatte Minna ojitsukase yo to ganbatte ta mitai da yo Oh yeah, Remy said something like that Now I know what she was working so hard doing Ore tachi ja dou shiou mo nai shi Seto kai chou ni datte dekiru koto ni wa genkai ga aru Sono bun, Sanae sensei ga nenchou sha toshite ganbatte ta no sa I see 思っていた以上に先生らしいので、面食らった感じといったところか。Hasn't she been his teacher for like a year or something? But sure, I guess. Satsuki continues explaining everything while we whisper to each other about her sword, about the school situation, the need to find food. しかし、事態は皆さんが思っている以上に深刻です。何が起きるかわからない状況ですから、身の安全すら保証できません。There it is. Once they hear that their lives could still be in danger, everyone starts getting upset. Still, the reaction is not as severe as I expected. You're,、uh, you're both taking this really well. それは、お前が戦ってた現場を目撃していたからな。あの時のセトキを見てなかったら。私たちも騒いでいたかもねそうだよねまあそれに望みが騒いでないのにこの私が騒ぐわけにもいかないっしょえ私ってそんなに騒ぎそう They've steeled themselves after seeing our desperate battle But what about me? I was fighting back then But I had no idea what I was doing I was just moving like I was in a trance. I don't know if I could fight like that again if it came down to it. Minna, o t s u i t e Kiken ga aru koto o minna ni tsuge tano wa, fuan wa aoru tame nanka ja arimasen. Watashi ni wa, ie, watashi tachi ni wa minna o mamoru chikara ga arimasu. Mazu wa, kono koto o shitte morai tai no. Tashikani. イカルガ先輩は一番すごかったなかっこよかったしイカルガサツキファンクラブの連中が見たらそっとしかねないほどの勇士だったわねサナイ stands up nodding to them she asks a question on behalf of the whole audience サツキちゃんに力があることはここにいるみんなが知ってるし疑う余地はないわでも一人で本当にみんなを守ることはできるの Everyone looks at her anxiously. She can probably handle a few enemies by herself, but if anything more dangerous than that comes, everyone is worried. The noise begins at her flat declaration. みなさんにも協力していただきます。例えば、みんなが一箇所に集まってくれれば、それだけ守りやすくなったりしますしね
わかりましたではもう一つだけいいかしらどうぞ本当に帰ることはできるのはい必ず帰ることはできますまずは生活圏を確保してそこから戻る方法を探します That's different. 探すって言うけど見つけられるものなんですか Someone unexpectedly blurts out,、uh, that out, and everyone freezes. They were all thinking it. What's Satsuki going to say?、And、they all wait with bated breath. Once everybody's eyes are glued to her, she declares with certainty. Hmm. Well, that's a different tone than Asalia the Eternal. Where、well, there was a lot of uncertainty about that. There's power in those words. There's strength in them that nobody can deny. Even under all their questioning and nervous gazes, she still stands tall. That's right. She didn't just swing her sword and beat some enemies. She's had everyone's respect for a long time as their school president. She's not just a leader, but she has considerable charisma as well.、And、that's why she can lead people. Not just in our regular school lives, but in this kind of situation too. It's like it's fate, and she's the one standing before us all. Standing up before us all. I look around. Nobody's whispering. Nobody's making any noise at all. Everyone's eyes are glued on, glued on her. What is it? I'm not sure if I'm not sure if I'm not sure if I'm not sure if i サツキ先輩、貫禄がちって感じほんと大したものよね具体的な方法を提示したわけでもないのにみんな黙らされちゃうんだからいや、yeah. like、これからの生活は<笑>いわば冒険していくことと変わりありませんそして元の世界に帰るためにはみんなの協力が必要です皆さんどうか私たちに力を貸してください。She looks over everyone, one by one, and then bows her head to, to all of us. お願いします。A huge noise erupts from the crowd. Everyone's already caught up in her spirit. よし、みんな、話はしっかり聞いたわね。今、生徒会長が言ったことを残りの生徒にも伝えるのよ。大丈夫。私たちはきっと帰れるから。The noise returns to the gym. I look around at everyone. There's still a lot of frustration and worry. Most look like they still have more questions. But regardless, they seem to know that right now, all we can do is stay alive and wait. In the end, the ones who come to the gym,、uh, came to the gym to complain never said anything. Eventually, The only ones left in the gym are us three Eternity Sword users, plus Shinsuke, Agawa, and Sanai. In other words, the main characters. Satsuki hops down from the stage with a relieved smile. Senpai, what's going on? Thank you. Yeah, it's good, it's good. In the end, the first question is clear. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. かっこよかったですよ、さつき先輩。ありがとう。あら、のぞむくん。なんか不満そうな顔。I'm not unhappy. I'm worried. Sorry, I'm so hard to read. まあ、確かに、不安ではあるわよね。Yeah, it's going to be tough from here on out. うん、そうだな。職業の問題は大きいぞ。<笑>この学園に残っている生徒の数をきちんと把握しておかなければ大変なことになるぞ。You will need a lot of food for that. You're right. え、望む？何その小さいの？あ,あ。Sanai looks in surprise at Raimi. Shinsuke and Agawa also stare at her in curiosity. I completely forgot to introduce her. In the meantime, she just climbed up on my head like it was nothing. Not to mention, they can actually see her now, huh? Um, this is Raimi. She's just like the familiar of the sword I got. Like how Satsuki just explained. Um, I'm Raimi. 
望むの真剣黎明の真珠だ敬うようにあはいって可愛いくせに偉そうね That sounds like Nozomi there. あれって妖精じゃないかちっこいけどちゃんと人型してるしうーん瀬戸家の趣味 What? ほらほら紹介を済ませたら行動に移るわよ She claps her hands and brings the conversation to an abrupt end. さし迫って問題なのは食料と水ね多分この世界の水も飲めるとは思うけど Well, there definitely shouldn't be a pollution problem, judging from what we saw outside. その辺は調査しながらですねできる限り安全も確かめないとじゃあまずやるべきことは下に降りて安全を確かめつつ食料や水を集めることですねそうね先生学食の鍋とか集めておいてもらっていいですか保存できる範囲で貯めておきたいのですがオッケーでもどうやって食料探しなんかするわけ今この学園は空を飛んでるみたいだけどそれは多分のぞみちゃんが頑張ってくれれば大丈夫ですよ私ですかうんモノベに頼んで地上に降りてもらってよあはいわかりましたわかりましたって簡単に言うけど大丈夫なの平気平気モノベは私の言うことをよく聞いてくれるいい子だからいい子なのかだったら平気そうだな<笑>マディ・エクセプト・イーズリー He nods confidently. Really? The ma, Tsugi no Mondai Nanda Keto. Dare ga Tori ni Iku no ka te koto ne. Hondai wa watashi ga Iku beki nanda Keto. Ie, Satsuki Senpai wa no kotta ho ga ii to omoimas. Gakuen de nani ka atta toki ni Senpai ga inai to komaru da ro si. Yappari so yu ne. Te koto de, Nazuma kun, Nazumi chan, yarashiku. Yes, I've got to. Os, gambarimas. So da, nanika, chui sur koto arimas? So ne. Kari ni ningen to sobu ste, tektai no ishi ga ari so ni mie tara ninger koto. Eto, nanika to sobu ste tara, yabaku nara mai uchi ni ninger te koto desu yo ne. Eh, to ni kaku kikei ni chikazuka nai koto ne. Te, are? Satsuki was talking to us, not to Agawa. Hold on, is she... You're going to come with us, Agawa? It's dangerous, maybe, I guess. I would think we could hold our hormones in check. While we try to search for food and water on a foreign world, but hey, you never know, I guess. So, so, Nozomu ga mata kuchi sbera shite nagri toba sareta ni shita ra hakon de kuru yatsu mo hitsuyou da shi na. Okay, Shinsuke has got a good, uh, yeah, good head on his shoulders. So, chika yo. Hey, you're coming too, Shinsuke. Oh. I'm not sure I can believe this. I'm still having problems wrapping my head around this impossible situation. And these two are willing to jump right in? Hmm. Yes, understood. Okay, let's get going then. Nozomi, please ask uh, Monobe. Monobe. She closes her eyes and looks like she's praying. She's probably talking to Monobe. 
分かったってすぐに降りてくれるみたい That was quick. いい子だからね The entire school begins to shake. We must have reached the ground. It's not like a violent earthquake, though. It quickly settles. Alright, let's go. Yeah, thank you. Agawa marches us off energetically. That's also about when I notice that she's carrying around a camera. Hold it, you're going to be taking pictures too. I can't really complain. Wow, how can they be so enthusiastic? Honestly, I'm je、uh, jealous of their absurd ability to adapt. Right. Okay, we're off. Let's go, Nozomi. Tatsuki and Sanai watch us leave. Okay, and before we do head out into the great unknown, this is where I'm going to end off this episode. So, as always, if you guys are enjoying the series, do consider picking up the game for yourself to support it and the developers. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all next time.